Hello, today's video is about a cool split color text effect. Here I have black on white and white on black. The black text is the text in my actual element, while the white text overlapping it is the text in its before pseudo element. This before pseudo element is clipped to a polygon shape, which is approximately the shape of the black dress. I wish I could show you and you know drag the points of that polygon around so you see how the code changes as I do it. But sadly, no browser dev tools supports this, so not going to happen. One thing to note here is that if we change the image, then we need to also change this polygon shape here. Isn't there a more economical way? Well, when I first saw this, I didn't really notice the title, which obviously says how it was done, and I thought blend modes. So let's see how you could do something of the kind with blend modes. We're going to have a header and um, a heading inside it and some text. So um, here I'm first going to set everything. Martin zero, padding zero. Now for the body, I'm going to have display flex. And I'm also going to have full height, 100 viewport height units. I'm going to set a font, which is going to be a thick one, um, nine viewport width. And the line height is going to be the full uh, viewport height. Then I'm going to have um, font family. Now let's also set um, text line center. Okay, this looks pretty good. Let's collapse this and let's move on to the header. This is going to have flex one and we're going to give it a background which is going to be an image. So we're going to have URL. This image is going to be right in the middle and it's going to cover the whole thing. So let's take an image URL put it here and we're going to see stuff. Now uh, for the heading inside, we're going to have color white and we're going to have not background blend mode, but I want autocomplete. So um, exclusion and now I'm going to change background to mix. Now, as you can see, I have black and white text and this works really well for black and white images but let's see how it works for other images color images so let's take another image here this one and let's see how it works here so it looks pretty good uh, except here you see i have that purple there for the y and maybe I can turn it to black if I use something like a filter. So uh, let's try filter, uh, grayscale, one. So um, this doesn't appear to do anything. So let's take it out and let's try something else. Uh, let's uh, try another method, which is going to use background clip text. So what we're going to do here, this one's going to be uh, blending and it's also going to have, let's set uh, content editable true. Actually, to make this more readable, put it on the next line. And now let's um, copy paste everything. Again, um, text clip. Okay, now here I'm going to have blending. Okay, and I'm going to copy paste this. And this one's going to be text clip. Okay, and the color is going to be transparent. And I'm going to have background inherit. Then I'm going to have background clip, which is going to be uh, text. And uh, 
then I'm going to have not mix blend mode here, but I'm going to have filter and it's going to be first of all invert one and then I'm, I can do something like contrast two and I can also do grayscale so I can get rid of any color grayscale um, but now let's do uh, something so that the whole thing fits inside nicely all the time so we're going to have a media query here on media and I'm going to have actually I can put this directly within the body because I don't think I need to change anything anywhere else so I'm going to put it here so I'm going to so um flex direction this one's going to be column and then i'm going to have font uh, size is going to be 19 and uh, line height is going to be 50. Actually, it was big enough anyway. So, um, if I make it like this, um, let's make it four. I think five works. Six point five, something like that. Okay, this is good. Not going to do anything crazy. Okay, this looks pretty good actually. Now let's see if we wanted uh, to have something like a text shadow. How would it do? Text shadow. This one is going to be a zero, uh, three pixels, one pixel on line. How does that look? Okay, this looks pretty good actually there and if I try uh, to have it here however it's not going to work as expected however I can take this out of the text shadow and set it to uh, this volume let's collapse the body okay and before anything else, I'm going to set it here, and I can have here, I can chain a drop shadow, so now I have uh, this line shadow on the text, however, if I select text here, you're going to see that uh, it looks really nice, both the selection and the shadow. But if I select text here, the selection looks kind of awkward and not really readable. And the shadow is for the whole selection, not just for the text anymore. So, um, yeah, that's kind of a problem. Now, let's see how these two situations look for other images. We have something like this. This looks pretty good, actually something else okay now that I've cycled through cat images I think this is everything I had to do uh, today um, yeah this is it I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have any other ideas for future videos or questions, just drop them in the comments or send them on Twitter. And until next time.